Chinatown has waited three years for this celebration, and today, thousands came out. Lions were parading across Chinatown to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Young and old, the lion dance is considered good luck, chasing bad spirits away. The first time in three years there have been this many people in Chinatown to celebrate the Chinese New Year. We have had a couple very rocky years for Chinatown. Just as the pandemic was starting, even before the virus was in the United States. There was a large police presence in Chinatown. Even the city's new police commissioner was on hand for the celebration, with some residents a bit wary, following violence on the West Coast connected to Lunar New Year events. We have so many people that are embedded uh, within the city, and we listen to them, and you know, these, are, these cultural events are, are wonderful. That's what makes Boston so great. And, so, and we've been doing this a long time. Boston has the third largest Chinese community in the U.S., and neighbors were welcoming back crowds to this neighborhood after three years of economic slowdowns directly connected to COVID. We bring a lot of people to Chinatown, and that's what we like to see. This is the biggest party Chinatown will host all year. And over the last few years, it has been very, very quiet here during what is usually the biggest economic driver of the year, the Lunar New Year season. So to see so many people out, this is the biggest crowd we've had in many years at this point, and it's really heartwarming and exciting. Today's Lunar New Year was considered a major success by both businesses and residents, and Chinese New Year, in case you were wondering, is the year of the rabbit. Live in Chinatown, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, News Center 5.